hello everyone welcome back to another purity series it's so so nice to have you here again thank you so much for always watching the purity series i trust that you've been blessed so far thank you and my name is adebe grace mercy and in today's episode of the purity series we'll be talking about eeu the excellent exceptional you and before we move on i'd like us to read some scriptures psalms chapter 8 from verse 4 to 6 psalms 8 from verse 4 to 6 what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visited him for thou art made him a little lower than the angels and hath crowned him with glory and honor thou art made him to have dominion over the works of thy end thou art put all things under his feet the scripture says that what is man that god is mindful of man you are the son of man that god visit him god is mindful of you god visit you whether you know it or not god has crowned you with glory and honor god has put all things under your feet god has given you dominion before we proceed i'd like to define the word excellence excellence is the state of an outstanding mind that originates from a background that's my own definition let me explain it is it is an outstanding state of mind that originates from a background, a source. There's always a source to it. You cannot just wake up and want to be excellent. No, you have either read it somewhere or you've heard someone speak. Maybe you attended a program and then you heard someone's story of how the person came from, you know, a humble background and then the person rose up to be this and that. And then you're motivated in your spirit or maybe you read the scripture and you are inspired by the spirit of God, the spirit of excellence, and then, or maybe you read a book, you know, the book, you know, inspired you to want to be great, inspired you to want to be excellent. So there is always a source to excellence. And so if you have found yourself in a place where you do not even desire to be excellent, then you need a source. It is either you go and read a book that can, you know, inspire you to be excellent, or you listen to someone or you study the word of god or you commune with the spirit of excellence because there is always a source to it there is a source to excellence if you look at daniel in the scripture the source of his excellence was, was the holy spirit inside of him even joseph it was a dream that inspired him to want to be great oh i had a dream and then in that dream my brothers bowed down before me even my parents my father my mother bowed down before me wow so that inspired him to want to so there is always a source to excellence there's always a source to being an exceptional person an outstanding person you don't just you know it does not just fall on you it comes from a source so excellence is an outstanding state of mind that originates from a source and so to be exceptional means to be you to be exceptional means to be you because nobody else can be you so the excellent exceptional you is that person that god has created in his image to do distinct things according to the will of god that's why scripture says that my will be done here on earth through you through you and through me so the excellent exceptional you is that person who desires to walk in the ways of god to fulfill god's purpose here on earth who desires to partner with heaven to make sure that the kingdom of god comes here on earth and his will be done and so i'd like us to discuss some things some of the things that make the excellent exceptional you the first thing you must note is to accept yourself but do not limit yourself oh yes you might not like whatever is happening presently with you but you must first of all like yourself you must first of all accept yourself but notwithstanding do not be a limitation to what god has called you to be remember what happened to moses god called him and told him to you know do his own assignment but when moses looked at the assignment of god for his life he just had to you know tell him he's not capable 
Moses told God, oh, I am not capable of this assignment. So that was a limitation. Accept yourself, but do not limit yourself. Don't place a barrier over your life. Don't place a limitation over your life. Don't say this is the highest I can get to know. If you place a limitation over your life, then you intentionally limit God's purpose for your life. You are intentionally walking in the circles and that's not God's plan for you. Another thing you must also note is to desire to be nurtured into excellence. Desire to be nurtured into excellence. Oh yes, like I said earlier that there is a source to excellence. I remember a book I read. And that book really inspired me to do something to, you know, come out of the low self-esteem that I battled with years ago. And that book really helped me. And as I kept on studying the word of God, it became clearer to me that this is not who God has called me. God has called me a king, a priest, a royal person, a peculiar people. He has called me out of darkness into his marvelous light to show forth as the light of the world, to be the salt of the earth. And that really helped my orientation. So you must desire to be nurtured into excellence, desire to be groomed into excellence. Another thing you must also note is to practice. Don't be afraid of practicing what you've learned. Practice, practice, practice. You must practice. Yes, scripture says that faith without works is dead. Oh yes, you believe God can do that particular thing in your life, but how well do you believe? What are you doing towards making sure that what you believe come into realization? What you believe come into manifestation? Practice, practice, practice. Yes, I remember a time where I was, when I was still an undergraduate, I just read and read and read. And when I see my result, I'm always happy. Why? Because it comes out excellently. It comes out the way I want it to come. So practice, practice. If you do not practice, you cannot be excellent. Excellence subjects to practice. Consistent, continuous practice. So you must keep on practicing because practice will help you get better. And if you keep on being diligent, like we talked about last week, you will be able to stand before kings and not behind kings. So you must know that God wants you to practice and practice and practice. Keep on practicing because as you practice, then you are walking towards being an excellent, exceptional you. Another thing I would like you to also note is to imbibe a godly culture. Every organization has a policy and so they have their rules, they have their regulation, even each country has their rules and regulation. They have, you know, their laws, they have their policies, they have what you can do and what you cannot do. Just the same way all of these people have their rules and regulations, all of these organizations have their rules and regulations, you must also have a culture. You must imbibe a godly culture. A godly culture of walking in purity. Oh, how can you be excellent if you cannot even keep yourself before marriage? How can you be an exceptional person if you are not walking in the pathway of purity? Because scripture says that if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You cannot be excellent under the devil. It's not possible. That's not a word that defines the devil at all. So you must imbibe a godly culture. That is one way you can be the excellent, exceptional you that God has called you. And lastly, before we go, don't forget that you must not get out of God's covering for your life. Oh, have you given your life to Christ? Stay with God. Stay with God because this is how you can keep on being excellent, exceptional. You must stay with God. Don't get out of God's covering for your life. Just remember the story of the prodigal son who got out from the house, stayed away from the father, and the suffering that met him outside his father's house was greater than if he had just stayed under 
the, under the covering of his father. Please do not get out of the covering of God for your life. Or peradventure you have not totally surrendered your life to Christ. Then this is the message you need to hear. This is what you need to do right now. This is the next step you need to take. Surrender your life to Christ. Give your totality to Christ because to be the excellent, exceptional you, you must be under a covering. That's why scripture says that he who dwells in the secret place of the most High shall abide under the shadow. It is a covering. Don't get out of God's covering. Paraventure you have not even been there, then you must find yourself under God's covering. And so before we go this week, I'd like us to do a confession. And the confession is, I am excellent, exceptional, and I'm me. Are we ready? Okay, so one to go. I am excellent, I'm exceptional, and I'm me. Thank you so much for watching the Purity Series this week. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like, share the video. God bless you.